It's been a week, hasn't it? Yep. And we have to review that lovely fanfic written by Sindragon, don't we? You know, couldn't you do that? I mean, this was all your idea in the first place. I don't have to be a part of this. Well, seeing you started this with me, you might as well continue it with me. I promised my viewers, and you promised your viewers in a sense when I threatened you, that we were going to review these two stories written by Sindragon. So we don't have much of a choice. The show must go on. What is the fanfic about, anyway? All I know is that's called Ho-Oh! The Chosen One, and it's about Pokemon. I decided to show this fanfic to a fellow friend of mine, the Otakun reviewer, who's into anime, to see what his opinion was. And, well, this is his reaction to the story. Otakun, come out of the bathroom! No. We know the legendary dogs are dogs! Just come out! Yeah. He didn't react very kindly to it. We are so fucked. Indeed we are, but the show must go on. Hello, I'm the fanfic critic. And this is the Honest Reviewer. Say hello, Honest Reviewer. Hello. I wish I was dead right now. Well, you're not the only one who wishes that. But we have to go on with the review. Today, the Honest Reviewer and I are going to be continuing our special where we review two of Sindragon's fanfics. In our last special, or the last part of the special, we reviewed Simba vs. Sin for the love of Nala. I think we can both safely say that story sucked. So today... Oh yes. Sucked big furry lion balls. So today we're going to be taking a look and another story of Sindragon called Ho O oh Chosen One. The story's rated M. It's in English. It's a romance. It's Suicune, Suicun, and Ho O oh slash Ho O, oh, and it has six reviews. I'll start things off by reading the little author's note thing in the beginning. Since you sent me the fanfic first, if I'm going to be a part of this. Oh, sorry. Here you go. You ready? Yeah, suddenly this whole appearing of paper in my hands is not surprising to me anymore. Well, it's the internet. What do you expect? So let's move forward. Ho-Oh! Chosen One. Pokemon is owned by Nintendo. Wow, there's absolutely no grammar mistake. Well, actually, wait, there is. There's no period at the end of that. Yeah, but you have to give him one thing. He spelled Nintendo right. I didn't think that was possible for someone like him. And he even included the accent for Pokemon. How shocking. I own Stuart. Oh, jeez, not Stuart. Ugh, something tells me that this is the actual author who inserts himself in these stories. Ugh. Well, as we've seen in some of his responses to his reviews, he is an egotistical jackass, so... Not surprising that he would insert himself into these stories. Not surprising at the least. Pairings. Sue Kuhn and Stuart. Just to clarify, it's been a while since I've seen Pokemon or played any of the games. Which one is Sue Kuhn? Sue Kuhn is the blue one. And important note that all of you should remember in the Pokemon universe, Sue Kuhn, Entei, and Raikou are legendary dogs. I repeat, they are legendary dogs. They are not cats, they are dogs. Keep that in mind when you read this story with us. And uh, no offense, but I, all, I always was... It was always implied to me that Sue Kuhn and all the other two legendary dogs, they were all guys. At least to me. I think most of us think that most of the legendary Pokemon tend to be male, with some exceptions. But they look masculine. Well, without further ado, honest reviewer, you can start. Chapter 1. Stuart sat on the cliffside. Cliffside does not need to be capitalized. Outside, outside should be one word, of his hometown of Goldenrod Town. Okay, Rod, if Goldenrod Town, if that's the entire name, then Rod should be capitalized and Town should be capitalized too. 
Oh my god, I found like three mistakes and I'm not even at the end of this one sentence. He was the, a he was a nineteen year old Pokemon trainer. He was very well known in the Pokemon world as Ho Ho's chosen one, like as was Lugia chosen one. Shouldn't there be apostrophe S's? Shouldn't there be apostrophe S after Ho Ho and apostrophe S after Lugia? And by, by the way, something tells me this is in canon with Pokemon 2000 because that was the only time where Lugia was said to have magical powers. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I was always under the impression that the movies were non-canon to the rest of the series. Beats me, but I also noticed an error. It I've played the Pokemon games, and the first Pokemon game I ever played was Pokemon Gold, and the city should be called Golden Rod City, not Golden Rod Town. So clearly this guy needs to learn to do his research. Let's continue. Stuart had only started his Pokemon life with Cherry, his Charizard. Okay, the C and Charizard should be capitalized, seeing Charizard is a name which was handed down from his mum. When he got transported to Ho-Oh Cave, don't you mean transported to Ho-Ho's Cave? From traveling to Palatown, okay. Palatown, the two first letters in that, that name should be capitalized because they're names. Yeah, and by the way, who the hell names their Pokemon, really? Uh, in defense, I kind of name mine in my games. Okay, so we have two weirdos in this. Hey, shut up. I'm the one with the razor, not you. And I still have you under contract to finish reading this, so don't piss me off or you'll be getting shot with this thing. Wow, cut and shot. I'm in for a treat. Flashback. Stuart groaned to himself, himself should be one word, as he looked to see Cherry out cold next to him. Stuart tried to shake her awake. Wow, he actually spelled her name wrong. In the last sentence that I read when he mentioned his Pokemon's name, he had the name spelled with two R's, and in the sentence that you just read, it's spelled with one R. Inconsistency much? Wow, Sindragon. You fail at spelling names that you fucking made up. <laughs> there's just, there's just not enough to just how big of a loser you are. <laughs> Moving forward, Cherry, wake up. He said to his fire Pokemon, I love the lack of punctuation marks in that sentence. She, we, will. What? She, we, will? Okay, you don't need that we in there to be she, will be out for a while, Stuart said a female voice behind him. Confused by the sound of another voice as he turned around accepting, accepting, don't you mean expecting to see another human? He was very surprised to see probably, okay, that is not how you spell probably. Get a dictionary, please. The strongest Pokemon in history, and why is the H in history capitalized? There's no need for that whatsoever. Yeah, uh, Ho oh, oh, and okay, there doesn't need to be a space after the first quotation, and there needs to be a punctuation mark after that one word. Stuart gasped in a mixture of shock and fear of the. Okay, I'm pretty sure he spelled Phoenix wrong in this. Pokemon. The Led Giori. The Led Giori? Is he supposed to be trying to spell legendary? That is not even close to how you spell it. What the heck is with this person? I mean, not only do they have extra letters in here, they are missing letters that are needed to spell legendary. This is, okay, here's one trick for spelling things out properly. Sound it out with your tongue. Le-gen-dare-ry. As you can see, when you say ledge, it's probably going to be like L-E-G. Gen, it's probably going to be E-N, and then dairy will be D-A-R-Y. Le-gen-dairy. You know, if you have trouble 
spelling things, try doing that. Sound it out because most of the time that helps you spell things right. Well, you're talking to the guy who misspelled the name of a character he made up. I don't know how you could fuck up that, but he did. Well, let's continue by saying what the word should say. The legendary Pokemon smiled. Okay, Ho-Oh is a bird. It has a beak. It cannot smile. The legendary Pokemon smiled, seeing the human reaction, the human's reaction with an apostrophe S, as she flew over to Stuart, resting next to him. Don't be afraid, Stuart. I've been watching since you were born. Again, there doesn't need to be a space between the first quotation and the first word. Get rid of that. And there is no punctuation mark at the end of this, so... The female legendary... Did, wait, did he spell legendary right in that? Yeah, he did. I don't get why he couldn't have spelled it right in the other sentence, but he spelled it right in this one. Well, he's a failure. Let's move on. Said to the young human. Why, how, why me, I'm just a rookie trainer. Oh, we have caveman again. Okay. Hey, honest reviewer, should we read this like a caveman? Uh, let's give it a while, because I can't muster that voice for some time. <laughs> all right all right i'll continue stewart said to her confused you're not don't you mean you're with uh possibly re you're not stewart you were born with a gift okay and again same problem there does not need to be a space between the first quotation and the first word getting the notices pattern what about you mm-hmm a Special gift, and you have the caring, caring heart. No, it's not the same part as you and I spell it. It's heart. H-A-R-T. You have a caring heart to everyone you meet or your Pokemon. That's a complete and utter lie. You're a complete fucking douchebag to me and the fan big critic when we have something negative to say about your story, so fuck you. Yeah, you send us harassing messages on YouTube and then block us so we can't respond to them. Yeah, that's real mature of you. Now, he responded to my fanfic page also with the same harassing messages. <laughs> and I have chosen you to be my chosen one, Ho-Ho said with a wisdom in her voice. Stuart gasped, bowing his head to the bird Pokemon in the show of respect that she had just given him. Thank you, Ho-Oh, Stuart said to her. Ho-Oh smiled, picking a wing on the human body. What? Picking a wing on the human body? What do you, what do you mean by that? Is she taking a wing off of him? Or is she putting her wing on him? If she's putting her wing on him, it should say putting a wing on the human body. And why are you saying body? When you're saying body, you're implying that the person's dead. So get rid of the word body. Let's continue. As Stuart looked into her blood red eyes. You're welcome. Again, it should be apostrophe R-E. But I need to know, will you be my chosen one? There's, and uh, there's no period after that. Ho-Ho said to the human. It only took two, okay, have the word two and not the number two seconds. Oh, wow, look. They actually use the word seconds and not like a weird abbreviation. Like in the last story, instead of saying minutes, they would say mints. Remember that? Yeah. Well, you know, it probably did take some mints in order to do some of the things they did in those fanfics. Oh, yeah, especially where they were putting their mouths at some point. Ugh. Moving forward, for Stuart to make up his mind before nodding his head. Uh, wait a second. Oh my what? god. He has an apostrophe and a quotation mark. He begins this sentence with an apostrophe and a quotation mark. Can you see that? Oh yes, I can see it. Yes, I will, Miss Ho-Ho, Stuart said to her. 
Ho Ho nods her head smiling as three, again use the word three, not the number three, as three new Pokemon enter the cave as Stuart, as Stuart eyes, don't you mean Stuart's eyes went huge. See the three human, wait, what? See the three, I'm sorry, see the famous three legendary cat, whoa, 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 cats? They're not cats, they're dogs. Well, the first two do look like cats. It doesn't matter if they look like cats, they are dogs. I've played the Pokemon games a lot. They are called dogs. And I believe they are, were called dogs in the third Pokemon movie that they showed up in. They are legendary dogs. Dogs, 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 dogs. I mean, damn, the Suicune, he does look like a fucking dog. How do you mistake that for a cat? Beats me. Well, let's continue. See the th famous three legendary cats, although they're really dogs, but the author is stupid and made them cats because they have a stupid cat fetish. The, g the Guardians Ho Ho O. Why do they have the O in Ho O capitalized? Uh, well, what the heck? You don't need it to be capitalized. Suicun, Yente, and Raikun. Came, at, came up to the human and their master as they bowed their head in respect of the firebird. So this, your chosen one, ho ho. Don't you mean so this is your chosen one? And you should get rid of the kami, you don't need it there. Suikun said to her in tone telling she was female. What? Why is the word in there? You don't need that word at all. Yes, Suicune, he is the human I've chosen to help you and your sisters. I was always under the implication that the three legendary dogs are male. Ho O said to her, chuckling, knowing what the thought going the three cats' minds, even though they're dogs. And also, I was never under the impl implication in the Pokemon games at all that the three legendary dogs were supposed to be related to each other, seeing they don't look anything alike. They're, they're, who says that they're siblings? They don't look anything alike. Whatever, let, let's continue. He is cute, Raikou said out loud, smiling at Stuart, making him go deep red from embarrassment. This causes Suikun, Entei, and Ho Ho to laugh at the human blushing. After a while, don't you mean after a while? Stuart got clam. Clam? So, did he have to eat, what, did he need to eat some clams to get over that blushing thing? What? I guess. And started to get more in touch with the legend, the legendary Pokemon. Wow. I can't believe they spell legendary like that. I mean, seriously, how lazy can you get? I have to imagine he spelled it right the, a few other times. Yeah, so his story is very inconsistent when it comes to how he spells things. End of flashback. Stuart chuckled. Rem, bam, ring. <laughs> Rem, bam, ring? Are you serious? Don't you mean remembering? Like I said before, people, if you're not sure how to spell something, sound it out with your mouth. Re mem burr ring. Not that complicated. Ugh. The first day of his new life and how it changes his life like no one could ever think of. As he keep and, don't you mean and, eye out, he felt a cool breeze of wind brushing against his neck. As he turned around to see the smirking blue eyes of Suicune. So your eyes can grin. Hi, love, Suicune purred in his ears. Well, technically, Suicune can't purr because Suicune is a fucking dog and his ears wrapping her tail around the human body. Okay, let's, let's, let me show you all a picture of Suicune and what Suicune's tail looks like.
Does that tail literally look like you could wrap around something? No, I think not. Well, you forget, we're talking about Sin Dragon, a.k.a. Stuart Sin. He's too much of a dumbass to even know this stuff. Very true. Stuart moaned, wow, he actually used moaned right for once, at the cool air that goes around her as he snuggled to the water-type leopard Pokemon. Okay, it's not a leopard, it's a dog. Stop saying it's a leopard and that it's a cat because it's not, it's a dog. You can't just make these things up. Yeah, I mean, again, look at this fucking picture. Does this look like a fucking cat? Does it? If you think that looks like a cat, you need some mental help. Carry on. Carry on. Hi, Kissy. It's a fucking dog. Do I need to show the fucking picture again and show you how it doesn't look anything like a cat? They were giving her nickname just for her. Kissing her nose, which caused Duakun to eat. It. Eat? What? It? What the hell does it mean? E.T. What, what the hell does that mean? Out a happy purr again. She can't purr because cats can purr. And Suicune's not a fucking cat. Oh, and by the way, shouldn't the S in Suicune be capitalized? Suicune licked the human ch the human neck, making him moan. Okay, if if you have I and G, you don't need to have the word moan have an E D at the end. I should say making him moan in pleasure. For while the been getting close together, okay, that sentence made absolutely no sense. And just a month ago, Stuart asked Suicune to be her mate, which she happily accepted. And what's with the random V in, as the next line? Why is there a V there? Do you know why that's there? I don't know. I guess that's supposed to be a space of some sort, but I guess he was, just got lazy and didn't type out the entire face. With them as a couple, I didn't know humans and Pokemon could become couples. Stuart would mate Ryukyu and Entei mainly when they were in heat or for just naughty fun with all four of them. Oh, hey, babe, you have got to be fucking kidding me. You're fucking Pokemon! I mean... God, why do you, why are you doing this, Sin Dragon? Why? Why are you raping our childhood? Get the fuck off of fanfiction.net! Get the fuck off! We don't want you here anymore! Unfortunately, he's still on here. So we have to deal with it until someone with a brain reports him and he gets removed. But something tells me that even if he does get removed, he will just make another profile called Sin Dragon the sequel and just make more stories until we rip all our hair out. Let's move forward. So love wear cherry. Huh? So love wear cherry. Okay, first of all, that sentence needs some punctuation marks such as a comma to separate the words so in love from each other. Secondly, it should have a question mark at the end of it. Suicune asked him as the relax, as the, don't you mean as he relaxed in the moonlight together? Or maybe you mean to say as they relax in the moonlight together. Mm, okay. Okay, again, people, like I said before, I don't need fucking sound effects in the dialogue. She on a date with as a as Charizard. What? Okay, first of all, that S shouldn't be capitalized because it's already part of an existing sentence with the hmm. And again, on a date with as a Charizard. What? Don't you mean just with a Charizard? It should be an A there, not an as, or because that just implies that she's going as a Charizard like she's cosplaying. She won't, okay, you need an apostrophe between the N and the T, be back till tomorrow. And there's no punctuation marks at the end of that again. Stewart said to the water-type Pokemon, 
He already knows he's a fuck. Suicune's a fucking water type. You don't need to keep clarifying that. Suicune rolled her eyes at the mention of Lugia Chosen One Pokemon. What? Is she in? Are I'm a bit confused. When was Lugia last mentioned? Yeah, and uh, how do you know that the Charizard that Terry is dating is ass is Charizard? You're going to put elements like this in the story. You should probably do it before near the beginning. Don't state it stuff like this and this far in. I mean, when what? This makes no fucking sense. How do you know that it's Ash's Charizard? I mean, when was Ash ever mentioned in this story? Well, at the very beginning, but still, it wasn't like he was supposed to be a character in here. Let's continue. Sukyun rolled her eyes at the mention of Lugia Chosen One Pokemon, like a rivalry between Lugia and Ho-Oh. There was a bigger rivalry between the legendary cats, don't you mean the legendary dogs, and birds. But I thought that the legendary dogs were friends with Ho-Oh. Unless there's another set of legendary dogs that I'm unaware of. Also, between Ash, Ed, don't you mean and, Stewart, and it was five to two of victories, the Stewart and their Pokemon battles with each other. Okay. That makes absolutely no sense in each other also be one word, by the way. It should be. Suicune gave... Suicune the gave... Don't you mean then? Gave and... Don't you mean a... Naughty smirk to the human as pre as don't you mean as she <sighs> pressed her muzzle away from Stuart as she moved herself okay herself should be one word not two down below to Stuart pants don't you mean Stuart's pants were where a big bulge was building much to her delight so he gets random erections at the snap of a finger oh I'm turned on I better go fix that. Okay, forget I did that. Go on. Stuart let out M, don't you mean A, moan of pleasure as Suicune Talent... What? As Suicune Talent? Okay, I guess you have a talent of some sort. Pull down Stuart pants. Since Stuart's having a possibly S that there. Down to show his growing cock to its glory of... 12 inches long. Yeah, you wish you had a 12 inch long penis, man. Give me a fucking break. 12 inches? Is that even possible for a man's cock to get that long? I wouldn't think so. Suicune purred as gave, as she gave Stuart cock. Don't you mean Stuart's cock? Be possessive, please. A long lick from ball, so he only has one ball, the poor dude. And I lost my place, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Long lick from ball to the tip of his cock, making Stuart gasp in pleasure as he stroked her head from her action down below. As she then gave Stuart cock. Okay, I guess Stuart's also the name of his cock now. So when we say Stuart Cock, remember, he named his own penis. With a few more kiss and lick on his cock before using her weight, pushing them flat as she sat on his face as she bent down and started to suckle his cock like a lollipop. Okay, we already know she's sucking on his cock. You don't need to clarify that five fucking times. And yes, people, I hope you enjoy that image. I will never be able to lick a lollipop again after what you just read. Okay, let's try to compose myself. Oh. oh. She heard, okay, wrong heard. You're missing an A in there. 
she heard moans of pleasure from her mate below herself. Okay, herself should be one word, not two. As rub, don't you mean as she rub his top of his cock on top roof. Again, caveman speak of her mouth as lick, don't you mean as she lick her rough t wait, what? And that doesn't make any sense. Oh, whatever. As lick her rough tongue over Stuart Cock, causing him to gap. To gap? What do you mean by that? Don't you mean gasp? And call her name in pleasure from the naughty cat action. For the tenth time, it's a dog, not a cat. It's a dog. Dog. D-O-G. Dog. Bow, wow, woof, woof. Dog. Continue. Stuart then smelled a strong scent coming from Suicune's pussy. Okay, first of all, the S in Suicune should be capitalized, and there should be an apostrophe S there again. It smelled like fresh mint. Again, with the mint! I thought we left that from the last story, but no, the mints are in this one too! I finally found the connection to why we're doing both of these. So is he implying that someone's... that... A woman's pussy smells like mints? Is he implying that? Probably. Okay. As press he tongue. Don't you mean as he pressed his tongue? Through the lips, wrong through, of Suicune pussy. I'm assuming that he named Suicune's pussy also Suicune pussy. Okay, let's go. And into her womb. Wait. First of all, it should be and. And if it is and, there shouldn't be a period in front of it. Because that would be a fragment. And I'm sorry, but... You're, no one's tongue can lick all the way up to anyone's womb. You... you God... I am surprised that you are a college student. Yes, people, he says he's a college major. I, I have a hard time believing that, because he has no idea how anything about anatomy. As she let out wars of pleasure, technically she can't roar. She's a fucking dog! Get that through your thick skull! She's a dog! You just changed her race just to fit your stupid fucking cat fetish! God. A pleasure cleaching, doesn't mean clenching, her butt harder. Shouldn't, don't you mean butt as in the actual butt, so shouldn't that have an extra T in there? On his face to get him deeper in her pussy. How can you get deeper than the womb, which isn't even fucking possible? <sighs> oh, it's my turn, isn't it? Yes, you get to read more of this sick piece of shit. I'm sorry, I, I just got lost to myself because I was trying to regain my sanity. Suicune panted deeply, and their strong scent of sex filled their air around them as sound of dirty sucking from <sighs> Suicune on Stuart Cock and Stuart licking her walls. <laughs> Go on. Suicune then began to bob her up and down Bob her what up and down, and shouldn't be and with an N in there, not an A and a D, on his cock as she sucked her lover off, as she pushed his tongue, should it be tongue, further into her pussy. Stuart moaned as he slowly licks her pussy walls before hitting the jackpot as release of pussy juices welcome into Stuart mouth. Stuart moaned, hearing Suicune Su Su roar as her pussy was shaking from her climax from Stuart licking. As she felt Stuart talk to in her mouth as she 
and okay, moaned as he uh, clammed into her waiting mouth. Suicune purred happily. <sighs> Again, she's a fucking dog. She can't purr. As sucked his cock dry like a bottle of all of his cum. As his face got soaked with her river of juices as they stained the grass around them. Some of Stuart cum escaped her mouth and dripped on her face. As she purred with love before letting Stuart up and cleaning his face, as well as a kiss before rubbing against him, then was stretching her body out in front of him and lifting her tail. And why is the T in tail capitalized? Because it does not need to be capitalized. Go on. Come get me, big boy, Sarkin purred, looking at him. You know what? Let's just forget about this. He is too stupid to realize they're dogs, so let's not correct him anymore. Because he's a complete, utter retard. I mean, forget about the flexic. He can't even tell the difference between cats and dogs, so... Or how the anatomy works, so... I'm just forgetting about the dyslexic part. He's just an utter fucking retard. And whether it is true or not that he's dyslexic... He can always hire a beta reader to check his work and fix the grammar issues for him. I have read some of the reviews he's gotten for his stories and many people have told him to get a beta reader and clearly he has not listened to them. Or he can use fucking spell check. Every writing program has them. Even the, even the editing program that fanfiction.net use has a spell check. I don't care if you're fucking dyslexic, people. There's nothing stopping you from using that spell check that's above on the menu bar of your writing program. Moving forward, unfortunately, as Stuart then climbed on her blue body and was about to push, don't you mean push, his cock into suicide waiting pussy when they heard voices behind them. Can we join the fun, said Raikyu, as she was next to Ante. Both of them had fun with each other. Each other should be one word. Because of the mess of juices on them both. Stuart had then seen Raikyu was wearing the strap on dog sex cock toy on dog sex talk. Wait, are they implying now that they are dogs? I don't know. That he had bought for her on her birthday. Sure, I don't mind more fun, Suicune purred. Mmm. <laughs> Stuart smiled, watching Ente slide under Suicune, offering her pussy to her, as Stuart felt the female tiger climb on his back, licking his neck before press the cock, the toy cock into his ass slowly. What? Why are you being so surprised? You read Human in Lion King World and we all know how that story ended. <laughs> um, you are aware that there is one more sentence. Hmm. Making him gasp as he started to push his cock into Suikun waiting pussy. Okay, that's the end of chapter one. Guess what, viewers? There's another chapter! <laughs> beware, people, beware. Because we are going to lose our insanities. Again! Possibly. Mainly her, because we all know... Her. Hey, shut up. I may be insane, but at least I'm proud to admit it. Although it's probably a good thing that Susan's out grocery shopping right now, because I'm sure if she was here, I'd be knocked out cold with her face pistol by this time. Well, it looks like we're on to chapter two. I will start by reading the little author's note thing at the beginning. Ho-Oh, Chosen One, Pokemon is owned by Nintendo, I own Stuart, pairing Suicune and Stuart. Pretty much they copied and pasted this from the last chapter. 
Chapter 2. Raitu purred deeply licking Stuart neck. I guess Stuart named his own neck to Stuart. Remember, this ne is Stuart neck. This is Stuart arm. This is Stuart feet. As he thrutted, what? Thrutted? Her strap on dill, dildo. He spelled dildo wrong. Sounds like a Mexican version of dildo. Deep and hard into his ass, which caused let out a gasp of lust. Which caused let. Don't you mean just let out a gasp and not? You don't need the cause there. God, he's adding words that don't need to be in the sentence at all. Um, I love being the dominance. That's not how you spell dominance, you idiot. One out of us four. Okay. Raikou snared as she th thirsted. Don't you mean thrusted? Faster into Stuart. Stuart moaned deeply as he felt her weight on her body on him. Okay. As he snuggled into Stuacune fur. Really, Rye, it not what you said to me last night. Stuart moaned at the action from behind. As he thrusted harder into Suicune Pussy, hearing her roar from his accent, as FRAGMENT! She pressed her tongue further into the warm pussy of Entei, making her mew. And she oh. meow. No, if it was a cow, it'd be moo. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's not, it's as. So Entei's a, not a cat anymore, he's a cow. Ready to go, Sin. Oh, sis, Entei mewed deeply, clenching, get rid of the comma, her legs around Suicune muzzle. To stop her moving and get her to keep carrying out, eating her out. What? Keep carrying out, eating her out? Well, why? That sentence is just so distorted, it, I it just lost for words. Hearing what Stuart had said a mint ago. Ah, so I guess he had to take a mint before he said some work, some dirty words. I guess that's the rule in the Pokemon world. If you want to say dirty words, take a mint! Not to mention those mints, those mints probably come in handy after sucking a, a Cat's pussy. Technically, dog pussy. Yeah, correction. Dog pussy. Carry on. And gave a sly smirk appearing on her face. Oh, really, Stu? Raikou purred deeply. Raikou grunted, thrusting further down his ass. Don't you mean in his ass? And yes, I'm sorry I gave you all that image. Then using her power sending. Sending what, really? You just ended the sentence with the word sending. An elastic. What? An elastic? What the fuck is that word supposed to be anyway? Look, look at this word. What do you guys think that word is supposed to be? Oh, I know, I know, pick me, pick me. Um, Daniel Lutz, what do you think that word is supposed to be? He's not even in this video! Pick me! Pick me! Fine. Fanfic critic, what do you think? It's supposed to be electric! Ah. Uh, pulled down into his ass. Wouldn't, okay, if it's an electric pulse, wouldn't that kill him? Because it's happening on the inside? And wouldn't that be painful? Ooh. Yeah, so I guess he's into painful sex. 
Making him jump in surprise. Why is the S in surprise capitalized? And to slam his cock deep into Spirit Coon's warm pussy, making her gasp. I thought he was licking her pussy. How can he be fucking Spirit Coon if he's being fucked? Beats me. Oh, Stu. Deeper, my love. Sue Coon panted, which was muted by anti legs. Oh, they didn't even spell ente right. How stupid is that? Well, we are dealing with a guy who thinks these three legendary dogs are cats, who also misspelled the name of a word of his own character, and can't even spell the dick and things that you can stick your tongue all the way up a woman's womb. We're dealing with someone who's mentally retarded. Don't forget that. Syracuse Tongue was working overdrive. And Ente Pussy licking her warmer pussy walls. Yes, we get it. Syracuse is licking Ente's pussy. You don't need to clarify that 50 billion times. Since Ente was a fire Pokemon, her pussy was much hotter than, say, Syracuse herself. That it, my slut sister, fuck me good. Ente said, gasping, filling Suicune, hitting the spot inside her. Raikou chuckled, watching the sexually show. The sexually show? Don't you mean just sexy? Don't need an illy bear. Below her, feeling herself getting wet from the action as she lowered her face down to Stuart's face to look him into the eye. Okay, how the fuck can she do that? She's mounted on the guy. How can she be able to look him into the eye unless her neck can extend out and just look him from below her? As she peek to, okay, wrong peek, should be P-E-E-K, not P-A, not P-E-A-K, to look at his cock appearing and disappearing. What? So, does his cock teleport from one place to another? Making sucking sound in her sister pussy, uh, by the way she was moaning, she like it, Okay, like the slut she is, well that's charming, he was doing a very good job indeed. Yes, the story is doing a very good job destroying my brain cells. So who the dominant one stew? Raikou'd snare deep into his ears. You know what? Yeah. I had it reading this like a normal person. You know what? Let's go to caveman mode, because that's the only way that makes any sense into reading this. Don't mind if I do. After this, she slammed the dido harder as well, the electricity running no into his ass from the Thundercat. Thundercats! 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 And again, it's a dog, you fucking idiot. Stuart gasped as he asked got Stacy from her action. Well, not a pain, but that outclassed by the pure wit for way too fucking. You are in your slut, Stuart said blushing, looking at the cat, feeling more thrust inside him, making him mew like a kitten. Raikou laughed at that as she brought him into his French kiss, which he apparently is happy. Dogs and cats can't, cats can't French kiss and neither can dogs, you fucking idiot. Stuart moaned, filled her rough tongue in his mouth as his dance with hers. His moans joined with the cat's mews and roars echo through the countryside around the sexy orgy of Ledgory and a human. Legendary what, really? Unless he means legendary. <clears throat> As 
they broke their kiss. Why don't you fit on Shane's hair? Okay, first of all, that should be broke, not broke. No, me, she couldn't bite me skin because it would hurt him quite bad. Stuart Gasp pre leaped out of his pumping cock in siding the mewing suicune. Who pussy tightens around sin cock as the sucking sound increased as Stuart movements inside her. Go harder and faster, deep behind the suicune pussy. Dragging on your imperial bitch, as she felt her getting more and more wet as dripped on her pussy juices. Dripped out her pussy as the sewer cock pumped into her. Mmm, <clears throat> that my slut, Raikou purred as she gasped, filling her clothes to climax. In. Into Stuart ass as she ran her some paper like tongue up and down his neck, making grass a pleasure. <laughs> Raikou let out a powerful war as she climaxed deeply. And yes, people, that's what he put down in the dialogue. A roar. That's not even fucking finished. Yeah, there's no R. Well, technically there is an R, but it's one, and it's in the A's. So I guess it's just yeah. roar on. <laughs> yeah, so he put the R in the wrong place. Go for it. <laughs> She panted, relaxing on top of Stu, as the tube into the cock pumped her orgasm juices into Stuart's ass, making gas of pleasure. He bit down a silicon scrub, making her snarl, closing while eating entire pussy out. To make vibrate hastily, making anti roar and snar as she dug her claws into the muddy ground. Under the gas rolling a pure breeze getting closer to climaxing into her sister mouth. She then felt the tip of Suicune tongue hit the G spot, causing her to jolt and roar as her pussy finally exploded as gallons or warm juices flew into Suicune muzzle. Don't you mean exploded? And how could you fit gowns of cum into your... whatever. Move forward. So I can feel it being lost as she tried to drink her sister juice. She had her deeply feeling her juices blast agent, her face, taking her into her sister juices as she was drinking her juices like it was water. Yes, we know. She's drinking and they juices. You don't need to clarify that 50 billion times in one sentence. And what the fuck does this word caking mean in this sentence? Caking her into her sister juices. What? Suicune then heard a chuckle as she felt her sister leaking pussy moving up and down on her sister facing coating it completely in her juices. And that just absolutely made no sense what I just read. It didn't make any sense to me at all. It was just random gibberish. She got as pressed back onto, still pushing as far as he could into her pussy. As she felt breath air as anything moved on her. As she got mixing strong scent of the sex orgy they just had. As she then turned around to seeing her love pumping her good. As she chuckled, licking Stu's face, as he looked at her with love, stop saying as and end that sentence with a period. Mmm, I love you, my love. As well as your sister, you moan with pure lust in love. As his cock pumped deeply, as sound made music to their ears, as Stuart Cock twitched a few times, as he... <sighs> Stop selling us! <sighs> as Sue Q dug her claws into the mud. Sue Q muzzled tightly. Up in her pure vibrating 
an endangered strip from her mother. As she roared, as she climaxed, her juices flew down into her pussy, coating Stuart clocking her juices as the sound of her juices dripped out of the tiny gaps. <laughs> uh, fragments! They hit the grass as to a human patty mewing deeply filling her relax. As she felt Stuart as he finally climaxed pumping his warm seed into her pussy. Oh, good do you tend it deeply as she put steam cup pumpy into her pussy? So a cune, Stuart moaned deeply. Stuart rolled over her pussy and stuck you messy fit and dripping mushy, dripping deeply on the ground as she struggled deeply to Stuart rubbing her face to Stuart face. Who Apple was licking up the mess of tasty juices on her face as they looked to hear the roaring of Ente and Raikou as they watched Raikou rubbing her ass and pussy in anti face drip of juices onto her face as Suicune and Stuart watch on. Mm, so when we going to see Ho Ho about the job? She asked us to do to an echo. Mmm, naughty stew. Well, in 5HR, after we finished our fun, Sewer Cune laughed deeply, filling. Did they actually abbreviate the word hour and have it say HR? How lazy could you get with that? Stew and finger into rubbing a pussy rug as roar, right kaku, and anti sex being carried on behind them. The end. One moment, people. Okay, the band, the band, the band, the band, the band, the band, the band. That was probably one of the worst pieces of shit I have ever read in my life. This was even worse than the Yomin in a Lion Cake world. It's not as, I have to admit, it's not as bad as, uh, Simba vs. Sin for the love of Nala. I mean, that story is fucking disgusting, but this... This was so thick. I mean, God. He turned the legendary dogs into cats just so he can soothe in his stupid little huge cat fetish. What else? This just doesn't qualify as a fanfic. They don't qualify. This fucking fur guy needs to be taken down! God! And you know what? Every time someone gives a negative comment on this guy's story, you know what he always says? He calls them all noobs and tells them to get a life. He's done that. He's done that to me, he's done that to the fanfic critic, he's done that to so many other people. And I just have to say, really? Y really? I mean, I've written fanfics too, but look, Sin, Stuart, look at my stories, and look at yours. What are the differences? I don't spend most of my fanfics saying I want to fuck these fantasy fictional characters over and over again. No, I actually try to write a fucking story to entertain people. No, your fanfics are nothing but fucking wet dreams. For you. They're not for anyone else. They're just for you. To satisfy your stupid dreams of wanting to fuck big cats. So really. Before you ever tell anyone else to get alive. Look at your fanfic. Look at those. And tell me. Which one of us doesn't have a life? Fanfic critic. What do you have to say on the subject?
first of all, the legendary Pokemon are dogs. They are dogs. Dogs. You know, canines. Bow wow. Woof woof. Being someone who has played the Pokemon games, I know that they are dogs. So the fact that you took these legendary Pokemon and turned them into cats so then you could fuck them severely pisses me off. <sighs> Secondly, the grammar in this story was awful. It was unspeakably bad. I mean, it's not as bad as some of your other stories, but still, you could not make up your mind on how to spell the word legendary. The first time you spelled it, it wasn't spelled right at all. The second time you spelled it, it was spelled correctly. And then the times after that, you just kept on spelling it gradually worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It was ridiculous. <sighs> Thirdly, I think you need to go back to school when it comes to the anatomy of a human body and a cat body. You see this tongue? Does that really look long enough to stick up someone's crotch far, far enough to reach their womb? I think not. So, unless, Stuart, you have a tongue that is as long as a frog's tongue, you cannot stick your tongue up someone's pussy and have it touch their womb. The same could be said for a penis. And if you're trying to imply to me that your penis is <coughs> this long, I find it highly unlikely. Because if you were to get an erection in real life, your penis would rip your pants open and you would be thrown in jail because of indecent exposure. As a whole, for all the stories of yours that I have read, as a whole, they are atrocious. This story wasn't as bad as some of them, but it was still pretty bad. And seeing I didn't get to go into a rant about Simba vs. Sin, I will go into a rant now. Lions cannot disconnect their jaws to eat other animals whole. It is not possible. And even if they could, they would not be able to eat another lion whole without chewing it. There's no way! You would choke! You would choke! You would choke and die before you would be able to swallow something! Now, unless the Stuart Lion is supposed to be like the size of a house compared to the Simba Lion and eat him whole, that'd be one thing. But that's not the case. And secondly, you cannot command when your stomach can and cannot digest food. It does not work like that. It's not like when you're peeing. It does it on its own. It does it on its own. It's not like I could eat a Cheeto and then say, oh, I don't want to digest it right away, so I'll just let it sit in my stomach. No, it does not work like that. It does not work like that. You idiot. You stupid, stupid, stupid. Epic critic? Wow, okay, I guess I'm by myself. Well, just let you guys know, this is what he looks like. This is what Thin Dragon looks like. His name is Thin Nala here on YouTube. He, he, all he does is a bunch of mediocre videos about Lion King music videos and shit. But look at him. He looks like a pervert. This guy wants to fuck Nala. He wants to fuck Zira. He wants to fuck Sarabi. He wants to fuck all the lionesses of the Lion King world. He wants to fuck Pokemon. Remember that. How does it feel, people, that you love Pokemon and you love the Lion King, but this guy, he loves it so much more? that he would want to jack off to them. In fact, in Human and Lion King world, he admits he jacks off to see Nala in the Lion King film. Kind of makes you feel a little bit dirty, doesn't it? <sighs> to me, it makes me feel 
reading these stories, it makes me feel like everything left in my childhood has been uh, pulled up into a ball, ripped straight out of me, cut into little bitty pieces, thrown out into an alleyway, and being eaten by a bunch of stray dogs. That's how I feel. You know, and lastly, there is a guideline. Fanfiction.net has guidelines on what kind of stories should be out there. One of the rules is you can't write stories about real people. Well, you can't have them seem personal stories about real people, like that Hamo Hamster story. Secondly, your rating system needs to be accurate. Some of them aren't. And thirdly, your fanfics cannot feature explicit content. And most of these fanfics we've read, most of Pendragon's fanfics, they are nothing but explicit content. They're porn. No, 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 no. Wait, they're not. They're not just porn. They're wet dreams. All the stories are fucking wet dreams. And they're not. And they're against the rules. The BeyondFanFiction.net, they're, they're not allowed. They're against all rules. So, people, when this video is said it's done, go to, fan, go to uh, FanFiction.net, go to Sin Dragon's account, find these stories with these explicit content, with these wet dreams in them, where he fucks characters, and report them. Because they're not supposed to be there. They have no business being there. They're not even allowed. So, report them. Just report them. Get them off. Make sure no one has to see them ever again. And Sin Dragon, one final message to you. To you, Sin Dragon. And I know you're listening to this. If you can't handle constructive criticism, so much so that you have to go and outright attack people, just because they say they don't like their stories, that you have to call them noobs and uh, tell them to get lives, all because they don't like your stories. Get the fuck off of FanFiction.net! You have no purpose being there! Especially if you can't take constructive criticism, you stupid fuck! Goodbye! I'm the honest reviewer, that's what's the fanfic credits.